Okay, welcome. I'm about to set up my new uh, Logitech G502 Hero mouse. Coming back to the fold, so to speak. So, this is my old Corsair mouse. And this is my new... Now, this mouse feels bigger in the hand. It's actually quite a bit wider than the Logitech but the Logitech is actually longer you could say but feels smaller in the hand so I'm pleased to be going back so let's unplug the Corsair mouse plug in the Logitech. So the Logitech has one twisty tie and one with Velcro. So we can do that. And then I'll still plug it into the Do we have all red? Oh, look, look, different colors. I'll tidy that up later. Oh, that's noisy. Why is that so noisy? Who knows? Maybe, well, that is probably a bit messy. Anyway, let's see what, oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice and smooth. I like it a lot already. Okay. So, we have the mouse. It's on. It has some colours in here. It's the only place it has covers. But again, all the, all, all the, um, it's covered by hand most of the time. Okay, so there are four modes that you can choose from, from by default on for the DPI sensitivity levels. You can take that up to a maximum of five, so you can flick between those five. And you can assign those five to be anywhere you like, up to the 16,000. I quite like the 3200 as my default, so I will leave that there. The targeting button at the front here switches between the one that you're currently on and the lowest 1200 DPI for when you're in like in sniper mode or something like that. Ooh, so the DPI setting lights up when you change it. I'm not sure if you can make it out but down here. So that's cycling through the different DPI settings. And that is pushing the targeting button which switches it back to 1200. No matter which you're in currently, just for a sniper action. When moving between uh, DPI settings, the lights on the side there change, depending on which setting you're on. And then the targeting one for deep sniper mode changes it back to the base one. Never comes back on.
so you can't just glance down. That's that's one thing I don't like about this already. The DPI does not light up and stay lit up depending on what DPI setting you're on. You can choose um, reassign functions for each of the buttons um, just by clicking on the little arrowhead and then assigning a new switch left and mouse buttons or assign a new command or edit the existing command or use a generic one. Okay, for the color, colors, again, as I said about my um, my Corsair mouse, when you're using it, you don't really see the colors anyway because your, your hand's completely covering it. The only time you're going to see it is when you're not, not using it. Um, so I will put it to be the same as, pretty much the same as my other ones. So let's go breathing effect, same color, which is generally around the, the default Logitech logo color anyway. Uh, for both the logo and the DPI. On the logo as well. And there you go. Look at breeze. And that's about it. I love the scroll wheel. Um, it even has left and right buttons on it. Which is interesting. But there you go. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay, cheers. Bye.